Hi, this is Mick. Today I'm going to talk about why I left my position as CEO of my family business to pursue my music career. So I'm 30 years old. I know it kind of sounds crazy. Why would you leave a very successful position, which probably has a very decent salary and very much security, to go pursue a completely new career as a musician? That sounds crazy. Well, I, I did that because I made the realization that nothing made me happy in the present with, uh, with the company. There was nothing wrong with the company. Great company, great people, great customers, great everything. However, what really drives me and what excites me is, is creativity. And I had gotten to the point in the company where, yes, I was creating a lot of things, a lot of change, you know, new products, but those things took time. And for all those things to come to, into fruition or for the company to grow a certain way where I could be proud of it, that I put my own twist on things would take about 10 years. And, and getting the company to that next phase is what, what drove me. It wasn't the love for the particular thing I was doing. It was, well, I got into this position and I'm going to take it to this level. So I run the company with my brother and my father left it to us and he passed away when I was 25, he was 52. And so I was making music at that time and I made the decision to, to step into to his role with my brother. And for five years there was a lot of good times, a lot of change, a lot of growth, a lot of lessons. But I feel like in that five years I, I learned a bunch of things and I almost got, I got to a point, not almost, I did get to a point where any more change or any more creation without giving it the actual time to grow was gonna cause more harm than good. And that's when I made the decision. I said, hey, I need to spend, I'm gonna spend the next 10 years doing something or growing something. I want it to be something I truly, truly love. And I love creating things with the business, but I was doing it to get it to a new place. I love writing music and if I can build a business out of my music and make enough to live and apply what I learned in business to my music and distributing it myself, then i rather take the next 10 years to do that so that when I'm 40 years old, I will have lived this crazy new adventure, something that I created on my own and that would excite me and fulfill me every step of the way because when I'm in studio, nothing brings me more joy. Implementing something for business is always about, well, when this happens, then this happens, then this happens. But with music or my writing, it's the creative process that really brings me the joy. How many people hear it is, is fantastic, but it's secondary to how much I love creating. So I'm not just gonna start playing guitar and write a couple of songs and put them on YouTube and hope for someone to hear it and, you know, get famous overnight. That's not what, try, what I'm trying to do. I want to apply the same principles I learned in business. And in business, in sales, I learned that to, to, to sell properly or to, to build a sustainable business, you have to build relationships with your customers. And what that means is the way I used to do it, my dad before me, knocking on doors. So you knock on doors, you introduce yourself, you find out who you're talking to, you know, hopefully you can go out become friends with them. And I never I never took part in the hard sell. It was more of, I know what products you're buying, he told me, and we're building a relationship. And at some point, if, if there's something that you'd like to buy from me, then I'm here. But other than that, I'm just gonna keep going and keep hitting the road and keep making friends and building my Rolodex of people so that one day when they need something, they'll come to me. And, and if they have a great experience, then they can come back and keep coming back. So those are the same principles I'm applying to music. So I need someone to hear the music, right? I can't, I can record a great song or make a great album or do a great video, but if no one's gonna hear it, then how can I make a business out of it? How can I sustain myself? So I needed to knock on doors. How am I gonna knock on doors? Well, I'm gonna knock on doors by creating this blog. So omic.com is the blog that I created to, in essence, knock on doors to create relationships. So how does that mean or what do I mean exactly? 
every time I write a blog and every time I, I made a friend in business, it was because I was really honest and really vulnerable. I, I, I wasn't pouring my heart out to scam someone into being my friend. I was having a real conversation, not talking politics or the weather, real conversations about real struggles. And that's what connected us. So I love to express myself that way. And that's what my music's all about. So I figured I'd write the blog and, and put it out there. And whatever specific topic I'm talking about, I, I started from nothing. So I have to, you know, advertise it to, you know, people who like specific things. Like that's how I started learning to see if anyone would even give shit about my blog. So it's been two months and I've written about 25 blogs and, and I've gotten a lot of shares and likes and engagement and comments. And this is, this is like knocking on doors and, and making friends. I'm not writing the blogs so that you buy my stuff. I'm writing the blogs because I love writing the blogs. I love sharing my experiences to see if I'm crazy or not and having people, you know, tell me that they, that they had value from what they read. And so I'm just going to keep doing this and keep writing and, and keep putting out and, and keep growing like this. And I'll keep releasing my music every couple of weeks in between because the music is closely related to, to the blog content. And so I'm just going to keep going and keep going. And I don't have a particular product to sell right now, but it's, it's like the beginning of a business. You got to knock on doors and only when you knock on doors, opportunity will present itself. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to make, you know, money just yet, but if I have enough people and enough of a pipeline at some point, if I want to release a book or I want to do a little mini tour, or I want to release a special version CD or vinyl or something, then I'll have a pipeline of people who I have potentially provided value to who, who trust me and would possibly benefit from my product. And that's the way I'm going to build my, my, my music business or my art business or whatever it is. I don't have to make a million dollars a year to be satisfied. I just want to be able to, to pay for the music and sustain myself so that I can keep doing this because it's what I really love doing. And if I, if I work hard at it every day and I, you know, invest a little bit of money, just like any business, because the idea of music is just a dream. Oh, you can do it or you can't do it. Sure, you can take that approach, but I'm not. I, I, I want to hold myself accountable. I want to I want to make sure I write two to three blogs a week. I release two to three videos a week. I'm in studio twice a week so that I can just keep put, pushing, putting stuff out so that the audience builds and then there's more potential eyes on the stuff and more potential shares and then more potential for opportunities to arise. And I love this and I love applying what I learned in business to my new business. I was moving a little too fast, a little too aggressively in the family business and realized that I was, I had to move a lot of people and get them to do something they weren't used to doing and that wasn't particularly fair. But in my own business, I can go as fast and as hard as I want. So these are the principles I'm going to apply. Is it going to work exactly? Will I have to shift and pivot? Absolutely. What business doesn't? But that's the approach. And, and that's why that's the logic behind what I'm doing and why I'm happy to do it and why it, it fulfills me. Because I'll get to, to test my own theory. I'll get to do what I love. And I'll get to learn a hell of a lot and create potential where there was none before. If I'm not doing any of this, then there's no opportunity for anything to happen. But I really think that if I, if I follow this and work hard and keep myself accountable, that really interesting things will happen. So the idea that music is something that you have to be uh, huge in order to accomplish, that's maybe in, under the, you know, the, the record label, major, major label type thing, like Lady Gaga or Maroon 5. But that's like saying if you're starting a, a business, you have to be Apple or IBM to be able to make it. And that's, that's just not the truth. There's more than 50% of the US population is employed by small business. And small business can be any size, as long as it, as it, as it makes a little bit of a profit so it can keep going and keep growing, then that's all it really needs. So I'm gonna have my small little business and start with you know, small little shows and little albums, and maybe little books and little things like that. And I'll grow it. And I, I can't judge where it's going to go or which way is going to go fast or how long it's going to take. But when I think back about that, that 10 years, I rather hit 40 years old spending this decade 
trying to make a living out of my art than any other option. So that's why I left my position as CEO to pursue a career in the arts, in my music and my writing. So thanks very much for listening. If you liked what I had to say or you, you like anything else on, on my channel, then please hit subscribe. And if, uh, if, if not, then that's cool too. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.